The damage is catastrophic in Fort Myers and it gets worse the closer you get to the beach. Boats like this just left in the road, making roadblocks for those people now driving back in, trying to get to their homes and see that damage firsthand. Judy Curry can only look at her home in shock. Complete devastation. Lucky to be alive. Some people um feel locked in their house, wouldn't come out. They had boats going in in the um, streets. The death toll from Hurricane Ian is uncertain, but public officials in Florida have braced the people here for the worst. In Fort Myers Beach, Hurricane Ian's storm surge was so strong it tossed boats like they were toys. I actually have a big catamaran motorboat in the middle of my pool right now. This beach community hardly recognizable to the people who live here and called it home. I'm crushed. I mean, it's sad. I, you know, I love Fort Myers Beach. I love everything about it, but then it's sad to see some of the long time places here gone, completely gone. So hope, hopefully everyone can rebuild and, and I'm, I'm sure they will. We'll get through it. Today, sheriff's deputies closing the only bridge to the beach to the public, saying that they needed time and space to be able to begin cleanup and damage assessments overhead. Coast Guard crews run rescue operations to nearby Sanibel Island, which is cut off from the mainland. The governor today saying it will take months to recover from what Ian has done to this stretch of Florida, and these pictures certainly help you to understand why. There is no power and there is no water in Lee County, and there is a lot of work to be done, and it will indeed take months to do it. In Fort Myers, Florida, Stephen Quinn reporting.